and welcome to a Scardcast miniature review. Today we will be reviewing the Admiral Olga from the Raging Heroes line of the toughest girls in the galaxy. You can always check them out at RagingHeroes.com. They were kind enough to send me this miniature so that I could spend a couple of minutes reviewing it and showing you exactly what it's about. So, <clears throat> I asked for a sci-fi miniature they sent me Admiral Olga. So you can see from the picture, right? It's pretty straightforward. She's got a nice pose. Let's see the actual miniature. So I want to start with the actual packaging it came in. They sent it to me in um, a little blister pack, somewhere like this. And uh, it was wrapped up, well, she came in a little bag. So that was nice. All the pieces were neatly put into this little bag. And, um, Two of these little cards came with it, kind of showcasing the model and uh, the different options and different kind of poses for the model. They look cool. Uh, kind of nifty to have. I don't know if they're supposed to have rules in them or anything, but they look kind of cool. Kind of snazzy to just have lying around. And um, everything was wrapped in bubble wrap so that it wouldn't get damaged. So packaging, I would say, is an A out of A, B, C, or D. Um, then we have the actual components and contents of the miniature. So, in the actual components, we have, well, it all came in the little baggie, which is great. So we open the little baggie to reveal the contents. So, in the contents of this baggie, we have a sci-fi miniature base. Um, so this is a slotted base where the miniature will actually fit in. We have Olga, the actual character with her hat. Uh, here you can see there's a pistol. That is an option for the arm. It slots into here. And in the back you can see some really nice detail on the actual cloak as well. And uh, then we have another little kind of sprue. This uh, tiny little piece is here. We have a hand with a um, little cigar or cigarette that she can be holding in her hand. And a gas mask. Don't know if you can see that properly. We'll try and zoom in to said gas mask. Let's see if we can zoom in here. I am trying out a new camera. Okay. Go, it's a little gas mask. Like that. It's got a little uh, thing on it. It looks really cool. So, as for the detail of the miniature, the detail itself is very nice. We have the sculpt is, is excellent. Uh, it's not too busy of a model. There's a lot of detail. As a female miniature, I feel it is well proportioned. Um, it doesn't look too unrealistic. Um, the feet are the right size, um, so the head, the arms, the legs, the cloak is great. If you turn it around, you see the cloak has its own little design on the back. And all the bits and parts came together and were undamaged, which is a good sign. As for cleanup and assembly, there is a minimal amount of flashing or mold lines on the miniature, which means it's going to be very, very easy to clean up as well as prime and put together. Um, the contact points, there's just one contact point for the arm, which you can see right there. And there is, if you want to put on the gas mask, you can, it would just cover her face, which would be a bit of a shame, but the option is there none the less. So, as for customization, it's got limited customization in terms of um, just having one simple arm swap and the face swap. But considering the actual sculpt of the model, that is actually not bad. Um, you could always switch out the pistol for any one of your choosing. And because the arm is outstretched, um, some simple clipping could see the other arm turn into something else um, as well. Uh, as for things like customization, I'd recommend putting a magnet on the arm 
in order to switch from her pistol to her cigarette. I don't know how to ma how you would magnetize the actual face mask, but all in all, this model looks fantastic. Now you can go check them out on their website at ragingheroes.com. I will put an annotation so you can click on it and try it, test, go see them right away or support their Kickstarter as well. Since you are all watching here on uh, Frontline Gaming as well, Frontline Gaming uh, is, a, is uh, a way that you can order the miniature too if you order through them. So make sure you click on the links down below, send them an email in order to get some additional miniatures for say your uh, Imperial Guard, Inquisitorial Warband, um, or anything along those lines. So, I asked some of my friends to take a look at the miniature and let us know what they thought. Let's hear what they think. This is Jason. He is one of the gamers of the Eternal Warriors chapter of the 40k Nation in Barrie, Canada. So, Jason, how long have you been playing the game? I've been playing since 6th edition came out, so I have um, about a year now, over a year, just going on. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. Now, you had a chance to look at the Raging Hero miniature sent in by Raging Heroes Studios. What did you think? It's fantastic. The detail on it is amazing. It gives you a bunch of options. You can put a little gas mask on her. You can make her holding like a cigarette. Gives her a couple gun options. But the, the, my favorite part of it is the cloak. She has a lot, a ton of detail on the cloak. There's like a skull and there's some script on the back of it. It's just, it's an awesome looking model. Awesome. And what would you use her for? Uh, I could see her being used as an officer in Imperial Guard. You might even be able to use her as an Inquisitor or a Commissar, something like that. It's a fantastic model, lots of detail, very cool. Uh, GW doesn't have a lot of female uh, Imperial characters, so this would be uh, add some flavor to your army for sure. Fantastic. Thanks a lot for your review. Thank you. Another gamer in the very region. So Adam, how long have you been playing the game? I've been playing miniature games for about five, six years in total. Okay, and what did you like about the Raging Heroes miniature sent in by Raging Heroes? The mini itself, honestly, uh, has a, a lot of detail. Um, you know, just the detail in the weapons, the cloak, uh, the pose of the character itself, the sculpt. Uh, you know, it, it shows the feminism in the, the sculpt, but it, it doesn't exaggerate it, you know, like a lot of the miniatures that you see out there. Um, I like the options that come with many. You see that it has like a pistol, there's a piece that has a hand uh, with a cigarette or, or a cigar hanging out of it, as well as a gas mask for, that you can add on to the uh, miniature as well. Um, all those things make this mini a great addition to any sort of Imperial Guard army for 40k, um, Inquisition, uh, you know, you could probably even take this and maybe even add it into like a Corsair Eldar uh, list as well, with some alterations to it, or possibly a Dark, El uh, dark Eldar as well. Um, yeah, great model all in all. Awesome, thank you so much Adam for your review. Okay, so to enter the draw for the Admiral Olga miniature, make sure you first like the video, secondly comment down below on the description of the video on something you yourself liked about the miniature and what you would use her for, as well as share the video on any social media site you would like. Thanks a lot for tuning in and I will do the draw as soon as we reach 50 likes.